Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one has been asked for loads in the comments and it comes with a really sad story. It's Selena. Lovely. Lovely tone. It's rich, it's powerful, it's husky. Emotional. So what she's doing really, really well here is she's keeping it deceivingly light. She has quite a warm, heavy tone, which we all have our individual tones defined by the shape of the spaces in our face and our vocal tract, the space between our larynx and our mouth. However, she isn't putting it into a heavy space. So she isn't, hey, hey, down here she's, hey, in a kind of already slightly mixed place, which is just makes it kind of flowing and free and emotional. Gentle vibrato, lovely. Oh, she seems so lovely. Again, those punchy consonants that you get with Spanish language anyway. Oh, she's such a diva. Look at her outfit. Do that, woo! That's a little head voice. The tone is beautiful. She's got excellent control over her passaggio, that's the fancy term for the break in the voice. So you can find your break in her voice by doing like a hey, 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 hey. Keep it really, really heavy and eventually you'll get to kind of lid. When you flip over the top of that, you'll find a kind of what we kind of call falsetto, a lighter place. Now you can make those two voices, the head voice or your falsetto, and your chest voice match. There's a kind of more of a definition of falsetto and head voice. So without going into that, you can make this transition match so it's nice and smooth and she's doing that so well. She's mixing her tone, slowly, slowly transitioning as she gets higher up her range. While maintaining that lovely, raspy, heavy tone. It's like velvet, isn't it? Like, even with professional singers, it's really, really rare to have perfect pitch for everything to be spot on, and I haven't heard anything be ever so slightly off. It's just dead on. And she's a performer. And her rhythm is great. So Sion knows how she adapted it to a na sound. No, 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 no! 
well instead of no 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 it just sounds nicer <laughs> I love the warmth of the bottom of her range. It's really well developed at the bottom. So I love this contrast of the smooth lines and then popping some of these consonants so you get that rhythm and then you get her smooth voice against the drums. I love her bridge. I love these low notes. And what's interesting as well is that I read that early on in her career, her lower range wasn't as well developed, but here it sounds really well developed, really warm. She's keeping that tone the whole way. It's very, very consistent, which is at a rare. So her dad basically discovered her. He said from day one that her timing and her pitch was just perfect. And he really, really pushed her in that way. He also went on to open a Tex-Mex restaurant, which went down and Selena helped by singing. She kind of kept the family going. Look how relaxed everything is. She's so comfortable in her performance, but her jaw and her tongue, great. Her neck, there's no strain going on. And a lovely foot to head voice there. Head voice is wonderful. So, I was saying earlier about falsetto and head voice. Head voice is basically falsetto with full chord closure, so you get that fuller tone. You don't get that breathy ooh, ooh, sound. Ooh. It's a little bit fuller there. She obviously is very, very good at melisma, which is a fancy word again for fast moving phrases, for riffs and runs, but she is using it very, very tastefully, only in little sections, which I personally prefer. Oh, look at that move through the route. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about that, actually, that moving through the vowel. Instead of going, oh, yeah, and going straight onto it, oh, yeah. She's using a slide, starting from a slightly more closed mouth and then opening it up to give you just a bit more from that note. So it isn't just a boring, like, oh, yeah. It's like, whoa, yeah. It has, like, feeling and emotion in it. She seems like such a bright and wonderful performer and her tone is beautiful. It's... Such a sad story, and if you don't know already, I suggest you go and Google it. I thought that was wonderful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.